Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Wednesday. It is March 29th, and we are in the fifth week of Lent. And so, friends, let's begin our morning prayer with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endure temptation and suffering. Take up your cross, the Savior said, if you would my disciple be. Deny yourself, the world forsake, and humbly follow after me. Take up your cross, let not its weight Fill your weak spirit with alarm. His strength shall bear your spirit up, shall brace your heart and nerve your arm. Take up your cross then in his strength, and every danger calmly brave to guide you to a better home and victory over death and grave. O Lord, in your light we see light itself. Sin speaks to the sinner in the depths of his heart. There is no fear of God before his eyes. He so flattered himself in his mind that he knows not his guilt. In his mouth are mischief and deceit. All wisdom is gone. He plots the defeat of goodness as he lies on his bed. He has set his foot on evil ways. He clings to what is evil. Your love, Lord, reaches to heaven, your truth to the skies. Your justice is like God's mountain, your judgments like the deep. To both men and beast you give protection. O Lord, how precious is your love! My God, the sons of men find refuge in the shelter of your wings. They feast on the riches of your house. They drink from the stream of your delight. In you is the source of life, and in your light we see light. Keep on loving those who know you, doing justice for upright hearts. Let the foot of the proud not crush me, nor the hand of the wicked cast me out. See how the evildoers fall. Flung down, they shall never arise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you are the source of unfailing light. Give us true knowledge of your mercy, so that we may renounce our pride and be filled with the riches of your house. O Lord, in your light we see light itself. O God, you are great and glorious. We marvel at your power. Strike up the instruments, a song to my God with timbrels. Chant to the Lord with cymbals. Sing to him a new song. Exalt, acclaim his name. A new hymn I will sing to my God. O Lord, how great are you, and glorious, wonderful in power and unsurpassable. 
Let your every creature serve you, for you spoke and they were made. You sent forth your spirit and they were created. No one can resist your word. The mountains to their bases and their seas are shaken. The rocks like wax melt before your glance. But to those who fear you, you are very merciful. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O oh God, you are great and glorious. We marvel at your power. Exalt in God's presence with hymns of praise. All peoples clap your hands. Cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord the Most High we must fear, great King over all the earth. He subdues peoples under us and nations under our feet. Our inheritance, our glory is from him, given to Jacob out of love. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. Sing praise for God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God is King of all the earth. Sing praise with all your skill. God is King over the nations. God reigns on his holy throne. The princes of the people are assembled with the people of Abraham's God. The rulers of the earth belong to God, to God who reigns over all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God, King of all, God, King of all peoples and all ages, it is your victory we celebrate as we sing with all the skill at our command. Help us always to overcome evil by good, that we may rejoice in your triumph forever. Exalt in God's presence with hymns of praise. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, I have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from, from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare, from those who would trap me with lying words, and from the hunter's snare. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. If you are faithful to my teaching, says the Lord, you will indeed be my disciples. You will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. If you are faithful to my teaching, says the Lord, you will indeed be my disciples. You will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Blessed be God, the giver of salvation, who decreed that, man, that mankind should become a new creation in himself, when all would be made new. With great confidence, let us ask him, 
Lord, renew us in your spirit. Lord, you promised a new heaven and a new earth. Renew us daily through your spirit that we may enjoy your presence forever in the heavenly Jerusalem. Lord, renew us in your spirit. Help us to work with you to make this world alive with your spirit and to build and to build on earth a city of justice, love, and peace. Lord, renew us in your spirit. Free us from all negligence and sloth, and give us joy in your gifts of grace. Lord, renew us in your spirit. Deliver us from evil, and from slavery to the senses which blinds us to goodness. Lord, renew us in your spirit. And for what else shall we pray for this morning? As we call to mind our own prayers, our own intentions, as we remember all of those people who have asked for our prayers, each of those people that we've promised to pray for, we lift up all these things now before the Father, offering those sacred words that Jesus himself taught us, praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father of mercy, hear the prayers of your repentant children who call on you in love. Enlighten, enlighten our minds and sanctify our hearts. We ask this through our Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And friends, thank you for joining me today for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours. How good it is, what a gift, what a treasure it is for us to join together each morning, this morning, praying this prayer of the church, praying with the church, through the church, on behalf of the church and for all of her members. And how good it is, too, that you and I can be together, not just in the morning, in this virtual format, but spiritually be united throughout this day in prayer, so that whatever I face today, whatever you face today, none of us faces it alone, for the Lord is near, the Lord is with you. And then we have one another praying for each other, this little group of prayer warriors fighting for each other. Friends, on this Wednesday, whether you are out and about today, whether you are staying in, remember to be safe today, to be healthy today, to be happy today, but above all, remember to be holy today, to live out the holiness of Jesus Christ today in your life. May God be praised in you. May God be praised through you. And friends, I do hope that you have a beautiful day today.